welcome back to another crochet tutorial with cozy rosie uk today i'm sharing with you how to crochet this fillet crochet snowman as part of the jolly holiday blanket crochet along now the materials that i'm using for all of my blanket panels my join and my edging is this paint box yarns simply aaron and this is a size 4 yarn which has 184 meters and 201 yards on it per ball I'm using shade number 226, which is slate green. And you can see I've already edged this panel with um, champagne white, which is like a creamy off-white colour. To give this blanket a little bit more drape and a little bit more comfort at the same time, I've gone up half a hook size to a five and a half millimetre hook, which, when the recommended hook size for this weight yarn is a five millimetre. Gather your materials and let's get started on our snowman fillet crochet panel. So with our slip knot on our hook, we're going to start by making a chain of 66 to work into for our first row. This is the same starting chain for all of our patterns. Make your chain of 66 and I'll meet you to work the remainder of row one. Once we have our chain of 66, we're going to start by working one US double crochet into the fourth chain from hook. The US double crochet is the same as a UK treble crochet. So there's chain number one, two, three, and this is where we're going to be inserting our hook. We're going to yarn over the hook and insert under just, neath, just underneath the top loop of our chain it's because we're going to be adding an edging and a border along with our join so it makes it easier to work into the other side of the chain. Yarn over to bring your loop up, you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. For the remainder of row one we are simply going to work one US double crochet into each chain across which will give us a stitch count of 64 because these skipped chains at the beginning count as our first stitch. So continue to work across, making one double crochet, one US double crochet into each chain across, and I'll meet you at the end of row one, where your stitch count will be 64. At the end of round one, you should have a total of 64 double crochets, remembering that this skip chain three does count as your first stitch. Going into row two, we start with a turning chain of three, which counts as our first stitch of every row. And in regards to the fillet crochet, it does count as the first stitch in your first block. There's no fillet crochet in row two. We're simply going to work into each stitch across. Because this chain three does count, we don't work into the stitch at the bottom of it. We start working into the next stitch and we're working one double crochet into each stitch across. I'll meet you at the end of row two, ready to work row three, where we start the fillet crochet pattern. I've just reached the end of row two, and I'm just showing you where I'm working into the top of those skipped chains to make sure that we have a stitch count of 64 at the end of row two. Going straight into row three, we start with our turning chain of three. Remembering that that counts as the first stitch in our block, we are then going to work one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches. So that's one, two, three, and 21. We then begin our fillet pattern by making a chain of two and we skip the next two stitches. So we skip one, two, yarn over, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So that's number one, two, three, and four. Those skip two chains count as a, as a stitch each and we skip a stitch underneath to create that fillet hole. Once we've crocheted into those four stitches, we're going to chain two and skip the next two stitches. We're gonna repeat this two more times. So we skip two, 
working one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. That's two, three, and four. We chain two, ready to repeat it all again. So we skip the next two stitches, skip one, skip two, working into that third one along, working one double crochet into each of the next four. And that makes four. So you should now have one, two, three blocks of four stitches and we're going to make our next fillet space after those four stitches by chaining two. We skip the next two stitches, yarning over, skip one, skip two, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches. This will take us all the way back to our beginning turning chain from the previous row and I will meet you there to work our last stitch. So work one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches and I'll meet you at the end of row three. So I've worked one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches and the last thing to do is to work one double crochet into the top of our turning chain from the previous row. I try and grab two loops from that chain because that prevents any holes showing at the side of our projects. So at the end of row three, you should still have a stitch count of 64, remembering that your turning chain counts as, as one stitch, and you should have four spaces at the bottom. Well, four spaces hits the bottom of our snowman. Going into row four, we start with our turning chain of three. We're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next 18 stitches. So that's two, three, and 18. Once we've worked those 18 double crochets, we make our chain of two and we skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 22 stitches. Now, as you can see, we're right above an open block here. So we've worked number one and it's up to you whether you work into the chain two space or into each individual chain. I will admit very happily, I just insert my hook into the space to work number two and number three. It's important to remember to work two double crochets into these spaces because there are two chains. So continue across working 22 double crochets. We're on number four now, and I'll meet you ready to work the remainder of row four. Once you've worked those 22 double crochets, we should just be at the stitch after our last space. We then make a chain of two. We skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 18 stitches which will take us up to the end of our row where all we need to do is to work into the turning chain at the end. So work those 18 double crochets and I will meet you for our final turning chain. Once you've worked those 18 double crochets you should just have your turning chain left to work into and we're going to work right into the top of there, a little bit tight at times, ready to work one final double crochet. So at the end of row four, you should still have a stitch count of 64, and this time you've got two spaces. We're going to make our turning chain of three ready for row five, and we start by making one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. So that's one, two, three. Once we've made those first 15 double crochets, we make a chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 28 stitches. So that's the first three, there's four, Five, 
Once you've worked those 28 double crochets, you should be in the stitch just after our other hole on the previous roll, row. We then make our chain of two. We skip the next two stitches. So skip one, skip two, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 15. And that will take us back to our turning chain where we work that final double crochet into the top of it. So complete those last 15 stitches and I'll meet you for that final turning chain. So I'm just working my last double crochet after I finished those 15 and that completes this row. We still have a stitch count of 64 and you can see how wide our snowman is getting. We're going to go straight into row six with our turning chain of three. We're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. That's two, three, we then make our chain of two. We skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 34 stitches. That's two and three. So carry on to make your 34 double crochets and I'll meet you for the remainder of row six. Once you've worked those 34 stitches, you should be into that stitch just after your previous space on the previous row. We make our chain of two, we skip the next two stitches, ready to work, oops, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches, which will of course bring us back to our turning chain where we'll work that final double crochet or that extra double crochet into the top of our turning chain. I'm just working that final double crochet or that extra double crochet into the top of my turning chain to maintain our stitch count of 64 and that is the end of row six. Going straight into row seven it's a plain row. We're making our turning chain of three and we are then going to work one double crochet into each stitch and chain across. So we're simply working one double crochet into each stitch and chain, making sure you work two into that chain two space. And I will meet you ready for row eight. Don't forget to work into the top of your turning chain at the end of row seven. We're gonna go straight into row eight with our turning chain of three. We're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. So that's one, two, three, and 12. We then make our chain of two. We skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. That's three and 16. We then make our chain of two, we skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. So that's three. Once you've worked those next 16 stitches, we make a chain of two, Skip the next two, working one double crochet into each of the next 12 stitches, which will take you back to your turning chain where we just work that final double crochet. Continue to work those last 12 double crochets and that extra into the top of your turning chain and I'll meet you at the end of row eight. So at the end of row eight, you should have three open spaces we're going to go straight into row nine, which is starting with that beginning chain three. Now row nine is also a repeat of row two, where we work one double crochet into each stitch across. So work one double crochet into each stitch and each chain space across, 
and I will meet you at the end of row nine, ready for row 10. Going into row 10, we make our turning chain of three and we're gonna be repeating row six, which is this row here where it just has the two spaces. So I'm gonna run you through it. You can of course just click back and watch the full time stamped video. So for row six, we did a chain of three, one double crochet into each of the next 12, chain two, one double crochet into each of the next 34, chain two, one double crochet into each across to the end, remembering to work one double crochet into the top of your turning chain. Once you've repeated row six, placing just two open spaces right above the previous ones, we are going to go into row 11 with our turning chain of three. We make one double crochet into each of the next 30 stitches. Work those 30 stitches and I'll meet you for our open block in a moment. Once you've made those 30 double crochets, we're just gonna make a chain of two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next 30, which will of course bring you all the way back to your turning chain from the previous row, where we're going to be working that chain working that double crochet into the top of that chain. So you can see we're just adding the snowman's button in this row. So continue across and I'll meet you ready for row 12. So for row 12, we're going to be repeating row six once again, which is where we just have these two spaces. So we're almost repeating the row we've just worked. And then for row 13, we're repeating row two, working one double crochet into each stitch. So for row 12, we're repeating row six, which is that chain three, work one double crochet into the next 12, chain two, skip two, work one double crochet into each of the next 34, chain two, skip two, one double crochet into the next 12, and work that last double crochet into the top of that turning chain. For row 13, we are simply repeating row two, which is just a chain three and one double crochet into each stitch across. As always, those rows are time stamped for you. So go ahead and use the time stamp and I will meet you ready for row 14. So once you've worked that repeat of row two, we're making another repeat again. This time we're adding back in another button. So we're going to be repeating row eight, which is where we had the space, the button and the space. So we're going to be making our chain of three. We then work one double crochet into each of the next 12, chain two, skip two, all the way across. We work one double crochet into each of the next 16, chain two, skip two, one double crochet into each of the next scene, 16, chain two, skip two, then working all the way towards your turning chain. It is a repeat of row eight, so just hit the timestamp if you want to follow along, or of course you can just follow the guide of your pattern itself, and we're doing this row with a button and two holes. Complete row 14, making a repeat of row eight, and I'll meet you for row 15, where things are starting to get a little bit more interesting. Once you've worked your repeat of row eight, I think he's got all of his buttons. I'm not sure though. We're gonna go straight into row 15, making our turning chain of three. We're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. So that's two, three, and nine. We chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next 40. That's three and four. Once you've worked those 40 double crochets, we are then gonna work our chain of two. We skip two 
working one double crochet into each of the next nine, bringing us back to our turning chain where we work that final or extra double crochet. So your spaces should be one out from your tummy of your uh, snowman. We're going to go straight into row 16. This is a little bit of a busier one. I've done my turning chain of three. We are going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next six. So that's two, three, and six. We make our chain of two, skip two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next four. So that's two, three, and four. We then chain two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 34 stitches. That's three and four. Once you've worked those 34 double crochets, we make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, Ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next four. That's number four. We then chain two, skip the next two stitches, leaving one double crochet to be worked into each of the next six stitches. And of course, into the top of our turning chain. So at the end, oh, this is a bit too much to fit in at the end of row six you should have had oh the end of row 16 you should have four spaces in this row and we are going to go straight into row 17 we start with our turning chain of three as always and we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches so, three we are then going to make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next ten. That's three, four, and ten. We then chain two, skip two stitches, Ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. Yeah. We chain two, skip the next two stitches. We're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 10. We then chain two, Skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches, which will take us back to our turning chain. So continue across and I'll meet you at the end of row 17. So at the end of row 17, you should have four open spaces and we are gonna go straight into row 18, beginning with our turning chain of three. We then got to work one double crochet into each of the next six. That's two and six. We chain two, skip two, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next ten stitches. Two, three, and ten. We chain two. Skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into the next four. Two, three, I thought I'd work that into the same one. Three and four. We chain two, skip two, ready to work one double crochet into the next ten. 
I'm going to repeat that again, working our chain of two, skip two, working one double crochet into the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. We chain two, skip two, working one double crochet into each of the next 10. Two. So once we've worked those 10 double crochets, we're gonna make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next six, and that will take us up to our turning chain. Just working my double crochet into my turning chain at the end of row 18. And we have quite a few holes on this row here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six at the end of row 18. Let's go straight into row 19 with our turning chain of three. We're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches. That's three. Once we've worked those 21 double crochets, we're going to make our chain of two. Skip the next two stitches before working one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. That's three, four. Once we've worked those 16 stitches, we're going to make our chain of two. Skip two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches, which will take us back to our, or take us to the end of the row, where we work that extra double crochet into the top of our turning chain. Oh, I'll meet you at the end of row 19. So going into row 20, we are going to start with our turning chain of three. going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches that's two three and six we chain two skip two stitches ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 19 stitches Once we've worked those 19 double crochets, we make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work one double crochet into the next, we chain two, skip two, working one double crochet into the next again, and chain two, skip two. I'm gonna make this next double crochet so we can have a look at this we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 19. You can see that we've created three spaces in a row. So we did those 19 double crochets and a chain two, one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, chain two. And now we're going to be working one double crochet into each of the next 19 double crochets. work those 19 and I'll meet you for our final open block. After those 19 double crochets, we chain two, skip two, working one double crochet into each of the last six stitches. Oh, your project's flying away from me. And then of course we work our final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So at the end of row 20, we have those three beautiful blocks in the middle, and one at each end. Now going into row 21, this row is, feels like there's a lot of bits in it, if that makes sense. So let's do this one in uh, completely together. We've done our turning chain of three. We're going to work one double crochet into each of the next three. So that's two and three. We chain two, skip two, working one double crochet into each of the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. We chain two, 
and then we're going to work oh sorry skip two ready to work one double crochet into each of the next seven so that's two six and seven we chain two skip two ready to work one double crochet into each of the next four so that's one two three and four we chain two before skipping two and working one double crochet into each of the next ten so that's one two and ten so we've filled back in those spaces above the open rows on the previous row we chain two skip two working one double crochet into each of the next four stitches two three and four we chain two we're going to skip the next two stitches working one double crochet into each of the next seven that's two three, four, five, six and seven. Nearly there, I promise. We do our chain of two, skip two. <clears throat> Ready to work. One double crochet into each of the next four. So that's two and three into that space. Number four. We chain two, skip two, leaving us three <laughs> stitches to work. So that's one, two, and three. And of course, we just need to place one final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. Whew. So I hope you can see all of that. But we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight spaces. Now, row 22 is a nice, easy row. We are simply going to make a chain of three and work one double crochet into each stitch across. So work across, working one double crochet into each stitch and chain across. And I will meet you for row 23. You can still have a stitch count of 64 at the end of row 22. I've done my turning chain because row 23 is going to be another multi-hole one, shall we call it. We're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's two and three. We chain two. Skip two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next four. So that's two three and four we chain two and we are then going to work oh sorry skip two we then work one double crochet into each of the next seven so that's two three and seven we chain two again skip two working one double crochet into each of the next 22 stitches. Three. Once we've worked those 22 double crochets, we're making a chain of two, skip two, before working one double crochet into each of the next seven. That's two and three. Once we've worked those seven double crochets, we chain two, skip the next two before working one double crochet into each of the next four, three and four. We chain two, skip the next two, we work, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next three. Three. Of 
course we work our final double crochet into the top of our turning chain. So we've got three on each end. Now row 24, we're gonna go straight into it because it is simply a repeat of row two, working one double crochet into each stitch across. So make sure you maintain your stitch count of 64 and I'll meet you at the end of row 24. So going straight into row 25, we're starting with our turning chain of three. We're going to work one double crochet into each of the next 18 stitches. So that's two, three, and 18. We chain two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next seven. That's two, three, once we've worked those seven crochets, we make our chain of two. We skip two, ready to work, one double crochet into the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. We chain two, skip the next two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. That's two, three and seven. We chain two, ready to work, oh, skip two, goodness nearly forgot, ready to work one double crochet into each of the next 18. That will take us all the way back to our turning chain where we just need to work that last double crochet into the top of our turning chain. At the end of row 25 we have four spaces and we're going to head straight into row 26 with our turning chain of three. We start by making one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches. That's one, two and 21. We chain two skip the next two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. That's two, three. Once we've made those 16 double crochets, we make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 21 stitches that will take us back down to our turning chain. So work those next 21 stitches and of course that extra double crochet into the top of your turning chain and I'll meet you ready for row 27. Heading straight into row 27, we have made our turning chain of three and we're going to be starting to make one double crochet into each of the next 24 stitches. That's two, once we've made those 24 double crochets, we make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Once we've made those 10 double crochets, we're chaining two, skip the next two stitches, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 24 stitches. That will take us all the way back to our turning chain where we'll work that extra stitch right in the top and I'll meet you for our next row. We can see the snowman's little cute face. So we are going to work row 28. We're going to start with our turning chain of three and we are nearly there. We're going to start by working one double crochet into each of the next 27 stitches. That's three. Once we've worked those 27 crochets, we're going to make our chain of two, skip the next two stitches, working one double crochet into each of the next four. That's two, three, and four. We chain two, 
skip the next two, ready to work, one double crochet into each of the next 27 stitches. That's three. That will of course bring you all the way back to your turning chain. Work your last stitch into the top of your turning chain and I will meet you for our last two rows. So at the end of row 28, you should have closed off someone's beautiful head. So the remainder of the pattern for row 29 and 30 is quite simply working our chain of three and working one double crochet into each stitch across. A huge thank you for joining me today for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed making your very own snowman panel. And remember, there are a total of 12 different panels to choose from to create your own crochet blanket as part of the Jolly Holiday Crochet Along. I will see you in the next video.